everyone. So I thought I would do a what's in my bag video. I haven't done one of these before because I guess I just kind of assumed nobody would care, but I thought it would be something different. So here's my bag. So I have this bag from Target, of course, because basically everything I own is slowly morphing into something from Target. Um, I think it's a Massimo bag, but I really know it's a Morona bag. It's a grown-up bag. That's in my head the difference between like Massimo is kind of like a little more trendy, a little bit more, not junior because that's exhilaration, but you know, hip. And then Morona can be a little bit more mature. So um, I had some pretty specific requirements for my bag and I bought this it hasn't been too long, maybe within the past six months or so. Um, so it's it's not huge Let's see. compared to my head. Um, but what I wanted was something with a zipper in the top, um, just so I wouldn't have to worry about it. It doesn't happen so much before, but especially this is something I've always preferred because I've had a couple incidents where I had a purse that it attached on the top somehow but it didn't fully zip and then I was laid it on my lap and you know lost some lipsticks that were floating around inside loose and I was traumatized so I prefer to have something that fully zips on the top so this does the zipper's finally getting a little smoother it was really herky-jerky at first and very hard um, the other thing that I wanted was something with the little side pockets here that would be able to hold something standing up. And the main reason I wanted that was so that I could have my son's uh, sippy cups in here. Before what I was doing was, um, all of our sippy cups had like holes in the tops to make it easier for him to drink out of it because I should preface this with, this is mainly, mainly gonna be about kid related stuff, specifically like toddler stuff. So um, it's really not interesting from a beauty perspective at all, but just kind of a get to see all the junk I carry around having a toddler. Um, anyway, so we had sippy cup issues where we had the little valves loosened so that he could drink out of them easier because he refused sippy cups for so long and I was desperate. Um, so those, if they were on their side, they would leak. And we have new ones now that he uses now that he has embraced the sippy cup, thankfully. Um, he actually drank out of an open cup way before he drank out of a sippy cup. Um, and <laughs> anyway, so it's just really nice to be able to have a slot where I don't have to put it actually inside my purse. And even though the, the new ones aren't supposed to leak, they do kind of dribble every once in a while. So I don't want that inside my bag. Um, before I was like wrapping them in burp cloths and whatnot and I was just obnoxious. So I really like having these and since they're on both sides I can have like my drink and if I have one and his drink and it's just really nice. Um, it has, I do wear it just um, with the big strap on my shoulder. Crossbody actually hurts my shoulders more than if I just wear it on the single strap because I do have a fair amount of stuff in here so it is somewhat heavy. The bag itself is a little heavy. I don't, I haven't seen this bag. You know, with, with Target's bags, they're, they don't have like staples that they always have around as far as I can say. See, it's like seasonally stuff just is constantly changing. So, anyway. So it also has a little zipper on the front and in there I carry house keys and my car that I never drive, which I need to sell. That's a whole other issue. And then inside I've got a whole bunch of stuff. There's um, another zipper pocket in here. What do I have in here? Let's see. So I haven't touched anything in here. We'll see what's in there. Oh, it's my trusty purse pen. That's the it's official name. It's a Florida Keys rentals and sales pen. I was in jury duty in Miami and um, I didn't have a pen and you need to have a pen with you because they don't provide pens. And uh, a woman gave me this pen. She said I could keep it. So I have kept it in my purse since then and 
it's been a long time now and it still works and I think I can replace the well ink cartridge in there but it truly has deserved its name of, of the trusty purse pen. I have a Starbucks straw. <laughs> Never know. There was a, a time oh I didn't even know these were in here. Oh that's good to know. This is my mom's um, Rebounds. Um, when she passed away, I took these and this is her case. So these are her Rebounds. They fit me okay. Considering I have a pretty big wide face, um, they do kind of run into my cheeks if I smile, but everything is just because it's not resting on my cheeks. But anyway, I don't wear these too often just because sentimental value plus um, there, you know, they do have some monetary value, etc. It just makes me a little nervous to wear them just because they're not super snug where like if I bend over, I'm 100% confident they're not going to fall off. So that's why I tend to not wear them, but I had forgotten I even had them in my purse. I was wondering where they were. Well, now I know. Um, I have a little pamphlet from the mall that is nearby, like the directory. I'm not gonna say which mall. That gives a little too much information as to where I live. Oh, and I have a pencil. This is the Minnesota State High School Mathematics League. This came from the husband, I would guess. That's everything that's in that little pocket. I'm gonna put stuff back in as I go. Um, so that's kinda, kinda normal, normal stuff, right? And then there's two little pockets that I suppose could be for like cell phones and stuff, but I have, um, and sunglasses, I have tissues and hand sanitizer. And so the main area has my wallet. This is a coach wallet. This is the most I've ever spent on a wallet before. I like that it's also a wristlet. And this one was like sold as a mobile something. And the idea was that this pocket could hold your phone. Like just about, well, just about every phone will fit in there because it's pretty big. And so if, it is kind of nice if I only want to carry my wallet. And if I'm only carrying my wallet, I may be wearing something that doesn't have pockets. Normally I keep my cell phone in my front pocket of my shorts or pants. Uh, so I do put my phone in here every once in a while, but not very often. Um, I was kind of hesitant to buy this. I ended up getting a really good deal on it. I don't know if it's still sold, but I got it for less than $100, which still felt like a lot to me. It may have been a little bit more. I don't remember. But so far, I've really liked it. I feel like it's just like new. It's very soft, very nice quality, and it holds everything that I have really nicely. So I have a little pocket for money, um, and then cards and um, miscellaneous stuff, checks I've deposited at UPS. Um, and then I have like all my other miscellaneous cards in there, my checkbook. It holds everything very nicely, and yeah, I've been really happy with it. Next up is my coupon organizer. Oh, it kind of matches this whole black and white theme I've got going on here. Um, they have these periodically at the dollar spot in Target, these little binders. And so, I don't know if you'll be able to see. I'll take out my Bed Bath & Beyond coupon. So I used a label printer to print out um, labels for the tabs. These come with little sticker labels like this but they fall off the plastic so I've had one of these before but a smaller size and this is the big one so um, I don't know if anybody cares about this so I have uh, a Target area since we do all our shopping at Target essentially so that's like Target department coupons then I have uh, dry goods refrigerated frozen makeup health and beauty home and baby and whatever coupons I plan on using that trip, I'll put like up in the front tab. And also if I have any 
um, Target gift cards. I'll stick that in there. And I have my Bed Bath & Beyond coupons in the back here. One thing that I have learned is you can use expired Bed Bath & Beyond coupons. So hold on to those puppies and just get a bunch of them and then do one shopping trip as opposed to having to do like a ton of little ones saving up your coupons. Pro tip right there. I just learned about this. So the only like makeup related stuff I have is in this Makeup Forever little case, which I really like, but it's totally fallen apart here. The zipper has detached from the plastic. Um, and I used to have this when I worked outside the home. Um, now I just stay home with my son, who is 22 months. He's almost two years old. Scary. Um, I used to have this totally stuffed, but with lip products. But now I just keep two things in here. It just it hasn't changed in a long time. This is a little lipstick case that my mother-in-law gave me and it has a little mirror in it and it's like a little leather case. It says Leatherology. So that's pretty cute. And so I have um, the Collection Privé Julianne's Nude from L'Oreal and I like this color quite a lot. It's very easy for me to wear. It's supposed to be peachy or something. That's what the original marketing said, but it's like not peachy at all. It's just pink. It's uh, not quite as pigmented as a regular, or like I have the L'Oreal Colorish Ferris Nude, which is much more pigmented. And then this lip gloss, which is on its last legs, it's a Laura Mercier um, Bare Blush really like this formula. If I don't have any balm on my lips and I just need something so that they don't start peeling wherever I am, I'll stick that on there. It gives a little, a tiny bit of color, a lot of shine, and also it will hydrate my lips a little bit. So that's the only makeup stuff I have in here. And I think the rest is baby stuff. Um, I have a, one single Maria cookie. That's my, uh, that was part of my morning sickness. I obviously need to clean this out. Um, emergency kit, also Cheez-Its morning sickness emergency kit. Um, an envelope that I need to recycle. Uh, a Target return receipt I need to recycle. Another Target return receipt I need to recycle. <laughs> And yes, the rest is baby stuff. Okay, so I have the the changing pad that is in that came from our I think it was um, Eddie Bauer um, diaper bag, which is a really nice bag. But right now, with just one baby, there just was never really any need to have that really big diaper bag. It was kind of overkill, but. I do use occasionally the changing pad out of it. It's not super wide, but it's still somewhat usable. It's better than nothing. And since it's not huge, it does fold up pretty easily. And that diaper bag, if you're looking for something that is uh, gender neutral, that your husband, boyfriend, uncle, whoever wouldn't mind carrying, um, I would look into something like that just because it just kind of looks like a tote bag. Um, it's green. Oh, I've got more receipts in here. And I'm guessing an Ulta return. Two Ulta returns. You see, I tend to return receipts tend to get stuffed into the bag. Okay, what's next? Um, I have, I'm down to just one diaper in here. This is our Up and Up diapers, um, size five. Up and Up is the Target brand diapers. We really like these. Um, I have a spare, just like plastic bag, just in case I need to put something in a bag. Um, I have a small size of the Up and Up. <laughs> See what I mean, everything Target. Um, baby wipes, unscented. I, we prefer the purple ones, the sensitive, sensitive skin. I feel like they're a little tiny, teeny tiny bit less harsh in texture. Um, they're a little tiny bit more expensive, but 
Colin is very prone to diaper rashes, so I figure just spring for the extra tiny expense. Um, this is a burp cloth, which is a cloth diaper. I think this might be the... I don't think this is the Baby Zara's brand. I think this is a different brand. But um, these ones are really thick. We have some Baby Zara's brand ones, which are um, a larger size. These are like the smallest ones, I think. And they are less thick. I like them both. At first I preferred these, but now I actually like them both. So it's nice to have those just because they're ultra absorbent. So if there's a spill or whatever, that can be used to clean up. Um, and these, this is, these two things I have here. Oh, I've got another bag in here. I can take that out. Um, these two, next two things are a total, stole this tip from somebody, um, another mom that I met through one of the friends that I've made at Collins' um, early childhood education class. So she's on her third, yeah, her third is, her third baby is a newborn. Well, I guess he's like four months old now, so he's not technically a newborn anymore. Um, anyway, so she was over with him and her middle child and she had this whole system and I thought it made a whole lot of sense. So there's a zippered bag here with um, an outfit. So this is a pair of shorts and a t-shirt that fit right now. And the idea is you have some sort of catastrophe, diaper, explosion, situation, whatever, or perhaps just a food explosion. <laughs> um, we've got a new outfit in here and the messy, disgusting stuff can go inside the zippered plastic bag and not get the rest of the bag all gross with the clothes. And then just a, a good sealable bag for a dirty diaper instead of having like a reusable wet bag type thing that's just a plastic bag. We're not out and about that often. I very rarely have to change his diaper when we're out, but it's the time it's going to happen is at a play date. So um, I have had to change his diaper when we were at play dates. I did have a leak once and he just went home without any pants on, which was not a big deal. But it is nice to be fully prepared for that sort of explosive situation. So I think that's everything. Let me know if you have any comments or questions or any tips about kind of traveling with baby stuff. Um, you know, there's always new things to learn, new little ideas like this whole bag of clothing thing I just thought was so smart. Um, yeah, so I hope you're having a wonderful day. Happy Father's Day, as today is Father's Day that I'm recording this, and I'll see you soon.